I was listening to NPR, right? Well, my wife was listening to it and I was tolerating it. I like some of the fucking music, but just like their politics, it's just, it's, it's, it's so, it's so childlike to just be sitting there leaning all the way to one fucking side. It's just like, really? Nobody with a blue tie does anything wrong. Everybody with a red tie is an asshole. It's almost, it's like fucking political, like racism in a way. Um, but everybody thinks that they're a fucking saint, you know? One of the dumbest things ever in those Trump rallies, like there's somebody had like a sign or a T-shirt that says, fuck your feelings. I love how people on the right just think they're so fucking like hardcore and like, you know, people can't handle the truth. You know what I mean? You know what they're like? People on the right that are like that. They're like those, you know, like you ever meet some chick and she'll just say some shit like, you know, guys are intimidated by me. You know, they can't, they can't handle me, you know? And then, you know, joke I used to do with my actors. Like, yeah, you ever think maybe you're just a cunt? You know, I mean, that's, I'm not saying you are, but that's definitely a possibility. You know, that could be behind door number three and that could be the fucking answer. You know, your self-involved shithead. I just, I don't know. And then like people on the left, I remember one time I was doing a, I was doing a, I had a small part in a movie and we were shooting in New Orleans and at our hotel, like this big Republican convention was coming. So they had this big banner. It was all in red. So one of the producers on, on the, uh, on the movie was just, she was just like, Oh my God, did you see that banner? I was just like, Jesus, am I in like, where am I right now? And I just looked at, I was like, you know, people are allowed to be Republicans. (laughs) <laughs> and she just goes, oh, I know. I'm just being that person. But they, they fucking drive me up the wall. Well, gee, Bill, aren't you just the perfect fucking person? I'm a, yeah, you know what I am? I'm a fucking conspiracy theorist. And once you become that, you know, you lose a lot of friends. You drive people nuts. But you start trying to look behind whatever the fuck they're showing you. And, like, I don't think it fucking matters which person wins this because – you know, the people on the other side, because they're making you fucking pay for the, the, the center rice package on TV and now on cable. They got they got an extra revenue stream. They're selling all your fucking information and they got all this money. They, they put money on both horses. So it doesn't fucking matter. So I'm listening to NPR with my wife and they just sort of casually mentioned that scientists said the Great Barrier Reef is now dead. And you know what they segued into after that? Uh, the results of the Dodgers game. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I just think, well, we're completely fucked. And I want to thank whoever created the uh, Great Barrier Reef. I'm sorry we finally wrapped it around a fucking tree. That's what we're like. We're like a bunch of fucking rich kids. And our, and our, our parents bought us this beautiful fucking car. And we're just out there doing neutral drops and fucking slamming it into trees. And uh, we're going to fuck the whole thing up, you know. But unlike rich kids' parents, I don't think mommy's going to get us another car.